Okay, so in this video, we're going to be looking at two more tricky examples. Uh, we're going to expand both of these. Now, it may not be uh, immediately obvious how we're going to go about doing that, okay? But once you uh, notice that you could write this as one expansion multiplied by another, then um, it's pretty straightforward from there on. Okay, so for this first one, you could write this as 1 plus x times 1 plus 3x to the power of minus 2. Okay, these are exactly the same. Now, the 1 plus 3x to the minus 2, we can expand using the formula. Okay, so this would be equal to 1 plus x times, now we're going to do 1 plus n times x, so minus 2 times 3x plus uh, n, so minus 2 times n minus 1 over 1 times 2, so 2 factorial times 3x squared, okay, plus um, what should we have? So we'll have uh, minus 2 times minus 3 uh, times minus 4 over 3 factorial uh, times 3x cubed, and then you'd have other terms, okay? So, this 1 plus x can stay exactly where it is for the moment. And let's just simplify this. So we've got 1 uh, plus minus 2 times 3x, so minus 6x. Then we've got uh, minus 2 times minus 3, so that's 6 over 2, so 3 times 3 squared, so that's 27, so 27x squared. Then you've got um, minus 2 times minus 3 times minus 4, divided by 3 factorial, so divided by 6, times by 27, so that's minus 108x cubed, plus other terms, okay? So now let's say that we wanted these expansions, both of these expansions, up to the x squared term. Okay? So we don't want to go any further than the x squared term. We don't want any x cubed, so x to the 4, or whatever. So, when we are expanding 1 plus x and this bracket, you are effectively multiplying both of those terms by all of those terms. But you just want to ignore any term that produces a value of x, or a rather an x to the something which is higher than x squared. Okay, so you want no x cubes or x to the 4 or anything. So we're going to get 1 times each of these terms. So we get 1 times 1, 1 times minus 6x, 1 times 27x squared, and then you'd get 1 times minus 108x cubed, but it's an x cubed, so I don't really want that. And so there are a load of other terms that I could ignore. Then the x will get multiplied by each of these terms. So I'll have x times 1, so that's just x, x times minus 6x, so minus 6x squared, and then x times 27x squared is an x cubed, so I don't need any other terms from there, and x times that would be an x to the 4, so that can be ignored as well. Notice how I've written this out, okay? How I've written it in effectively columns, so I can keep track of the constant term, linear term, and the quadratic term. So I've got 1 minus 6x plus x, and then 27x squared take away 6x squared, and so 21x squared. So this is the expansion of that for the first three terms, okay, up to and including the x squared term. So that is the first example, okay? Now, here we've got something that looks pretty similar, but what we need to do is write that as 1 plus x to the half, because that's what the square root of 1 plus x is, and that's times 1 plus 3x to the minus 2. Now, conveniently, I've used the same numbers because I didn't want to do too many examples of expansion. So I already have the expansion of that, and it is right there. I just need to find the expansion of this one. 
So 1 plus x to the half, using our binomial expansion formula, is 1 plus n times x, so 1 half x, plus n times n minus 1, so minus a half, over 2 factorial x squared, plus 1 half times uh, 1 half minus 1, times 1 half minus 2, over 3 factorial x cubed, okay, plus other terms. And that's getting multiplied by this 1 plus 3x to the minus 2. So I'm just going to leave it as it is for the moment. Now let's simplify this. So we have 1 plus a half x plus, okay, a uh, half times minus a half is a quarter, divided by 2 is an eighth, so we've actually got minus an eighth x squared. Then we've got uh, 1 half times minus a half times minus 3 halves, uh, divided by 3 factorial, so divided by 6, and that gets me 1 16th, so 1 16th x cubed, plus other terms, which is going to be multiplied by 1 plus 3x to the minus 2, which is this. So 1 minus 6x plus 27x squared minus 108x cubed plus other terms. Okay? So effectively, I'm going to do this big um, expansion of this. But remember, it's in exactly the same vein as this one was. I'm just going to ignore any terms that give me an x cubed or higher. So I've got 1 times 1. 1 times minus 6x. 1 times 27x squared. And then I'm going to get 1 times a hundred, uh, minus 108x cubed and 1 times the rest of it, and that's all stuff that I can ignore. Then I've got a half x times 1. So that's a half x. Half x times 20, uh, sorry, half x times minus 6x is minus 3x squared. And then I'm going to get a half x times an x squared, so that's going to get me an x cubed. So anything else can be ignored. And then finally, I've got minus an eighth x squared times 1. So minus an eighth x squared times 1, and then this term will multiply with the squared, and the cube will give me um, higher polynomials that I don't need, higher terms that I could ignore. So I've now got the linear term, uh, sorry, the constant term, linear term, quadratic term. We've got 1. We've got minus 6x plus a half, so minus 6 plus a half is minus 11 halves x, and then we've got 27, take away 3, take away an 8th, and that gets me 191 over 8 x squared, and then there are a load of other terms that I could ignore. Okay, So that's how we can find uh, the expansion of either of these two examples up to the x squared term. Okay, It's effectively finding um, in this case, it was two separate binomial expansions um, and then ex multiplying the terms together and only get using the ones that give you a constant linear or quadratic term and ignoring the rest.